Hey everyone and welcome to another Wellness Wednesday. This is your live go-to hangout for creating wellness in all areas of your life. And I'm so happy that you joined me. And first I want to give a quick shout out to one of our wellness warriors for sending me this beautiful necklace. Thank you, Lydia. She sent me this note saying that it was because of all the things that I've been doing with you guys in this group. And I just want to say thank you so much for appreciating this. This is my mission to help you guys inch your way towards your own personal thriving life. And that's why I'm here. That's what lights me up. And so to get something um, to show appreciation for that just makes me so happy. So thank you so much for that. And thank you all for being part of my group. If you guys are in my Sherry Star Wellness Warriors group, I'm so happy to see that. Um, and hopefully you can join us here live sometime. And okay, so today... The focus of today, getting back to the focus, is to create our morning routine. So last week, hopefully you were able to see that wellness, um, the mini training that I did last week on creating a morning routine. And I went through the reasons why and why it's so powerful for us to become the master of our day by setting ourselves up with a really powerful morning routine that can get us in the kind of space, in the headspace and physical state of mind to be able to have a day that's full of ease and joy and productivity. And I mean, who doesn't want that, right? So that's why we're here this week. We've been doing a five-day morning routine challenge with the group. And there's still time to get in, involved in this. I know we're on day three, but if you go to my website, sherrystarwellness.com, you can download the free five-day challenge. You're going to get the handouts and the video. And every day I've got guidance to help you craft your own morning routine that's super powerful for you. And I've been getting lots of questions coming in about some of the details regarding the morning routine. So I just wanted to take some time today to answer your questions. So some of you have written in your questions already, but if you want to, you can also type in your questions here. And I'm hopeful that I can see it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to push this really quick. Swipe to the left. Okay see my viewers. Ah, okay, there we go. So I'm trying a new video this time because you might notice there's a little bit of a different look to it. Uh, I've been having a delay with my voice and the video and that's kind of annoying me. So I really want to make sure that you guys can get the full impact of these videos. So I'm trying something new. Hopefully you can hear me. Maybe give me a thumbs up or something if you can hear me just so I know that you're out there. And okay, so if you have any questions regarding your morning routine based on the video that we did last week, or based on some of the handouts that I've given you if you're in the group, um, please type them in here. And if not, I'm going to go ahead and go through some of the questions that, we, that I've gotten so far. But basically, I just want to reiterate the purpose of a morning routine is to set yourself up for the kind of day you want to have. Rather than feeling like other things outside of you are creating your moods and your day, ultimately, you can actually do so much to set yourself up to create that kind of uh, experience for yourself. And I want to read something to you really quickly. This is from Brendan Burchard. It's called the, Manif the Motivation Manifesto. I see it's backwards. Hopefully you guys can tell that's the Motivation Manifesto by Brendan Burchard. And this guy is a definite motivational speaker. Um, some people love him. Some people say he's a little too much. But I really like him, especially in the morning when I just want to turn to a random page and find some wisdom here. So I just wanted to read this because I think it goes towards my mindset of why morning routines are so powerful. He says, freedom and greatness belong to those who master their day. They have an entirely different level of control over the agenda and direction of their life. Their days mean something to them because they know each day gathers force toward a particular destiny. It's as though they imagined themselves standing before their creator at the end of their lives and having to answer his questions. Did you use this time that I gifted you each day to be a purposeful being? Did you follow your own path and make your time count? How faithfully did you tend to the dream that I sowed in your soul? Okay, so if we were to start every single day with those kinds of questions in mind, Am I living my purpose? Am I maximizing the time that I have here on this planet? Then our day might unfold a little bit differently. 
So this is why we're doing this. So if you want to get involved, you still have time. You can go to my website, sherrystarwellness.com, and download the free handouts and all the things that I have for you there. Okay, so let's get into it. I want to go ahead and answer the questions. If you're there, shout out to me because I can't really tell who is watching. I see that we've got people, but I just don't know who they are. So I'd love to give a shout out to you. So please say hello to me or send me a little heart or something. Anyway, if you're watching this on the recording, you can still type in your questions and I can get to those later too. All right, so the first question that we have about morning routines comes from Tracy and she says, how many minutes or hours are necessary to receive the positive results of a morning routine? And this is a great question, Tracy. And I'm glad you asked it because this kind of is the overarching coaching that I do with my clients, which is that everyone's different. So the answer is going to be different for everyone. And I really do love to do a an hour. That's my time that I do in the morning, so I create enough time to have an hour for my hour of power in the morning. And I, I posted up a picture of what I do for my hour. But everyone is different, and so the the minutes or hours are not important, but what's important is is that you do the amount of time that's necessary for you to feel the shift, the positive shift that you're wanting to feel to carry with you throughout the day. That's the important part. So I would say it, you know, you can experiment with this. This is where we can become our own little scientists and see how you feel. So trying different things in the morning, see what really makes a shift for you. Maybe you wake up feeling stressed out and you need to do something that's gonna be more calming. Maybe you wake up feeling lethargic and you really need something that's going to get you energized. So you can test things out like that. But there's not a set number of minutes or hours. But I would say experiment and do whatever the amount is that feels to you like it's really making an impact. Okay, so that was a great question, Tracy. Thank you for asking that. And now the second question is coming from Elise. So Elise asked me, does the routine have to be the same every single day? And this is another great question. Thank you, Elise, for asking this. Because, no, it doesn't have to be the same every single day because, of course, I understand we're all busy. Life is different every day, it, especially those of you who have kids. You might be waking up in the middle of the night to have to deal with maybe a sickness or a child who's not sleeping, and you might wake up really tired and want to hit that snooze button. So here's the thing, though. It does help if you can really do your best to stick to the same routine every day. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but I would say trying to remain consistent because you're never really going to know the impact that a new habit can have on you if you're not doing it consistently. So I would suggest trying to do it for the five days. This is why I do the challenges. I really love to do a five-day challenge because for five days you can focus on achieving this one goal of creating a powerful morning routine. But one of the things that I would suggest too is to change it up a little bit. So maybe you have three different options that you can create. One is the big option, you know, so I'm going to do my hour of power. This is going to be amazing. And I'm going to do this every single day and you're committed. But for those days that you know you're going to be traveling or something is going to be different in your morning, maybe you can have your plan B. You can have, you know, number two or whatever you want to call it. But that could be just a pared down version. Maybe just paring it down to those one or two or three things that you know are the most impactful for you. That's what I would suggest, having a couple different um, go-tos. And I thought of this because my husband, he likes to take a walk every single day. That's his morning routine. Without fail, no matter what, he is going on a walk, whether he's here or on vacation or work on a work trip, he is going for a walk no matter what. Now, sometimes he does the small loop, sometimes he does the medium loop, and sometimes he does the big loop. But it doesn't matter which one he's going to do because the consistency is in the fact that he will go on a walk every single day. That's the morning routine, and that's what's really powerful because it gets him in the state of mind. He's outside. He's you know, breathing fresh air, he's getting sun on his skin, he's sometimes walking the dog, which can be entertaining, and that's his morning routine. So it could take 45 minutes, it could take an hour, it could take 15 minutes, but it doesn't matter. The, the important part is that he's doing his morning routine every single day. So I hope that helps. And another example of this is I have a friend and client, Lori, 
who I like to use in this example because she's the one who came up with what I call the 555. Well, actually, she calls it the 555. And you guys have this in your handouts if you're in the group. And if you're not in the group and you still want to be in the group, just go to my website, sherrystarwellness.com, and you can download all of the handouts and everything to guide you through creating your powerful morning routine. Okay, so what the 555 is, is she, every single day, without fail, whether she's home, whether she's on vacation, whether she's had a stressful work day or whatever, she is going to do her 555. And what that means is five minutes of three different activities. So for her, it's five minutes of meditating, then five minutes of journaling, and then five minutes of core strengthening. That's her 555. And so that you can see that when you have a morning routine that's consistent like that, whatever your 555 would be, you can put three different activities in there and you can have consistency. Now, if you were to meet this person, Lori, you would see the result of a consistent morning routine because she is fantastic and super fit and her she's just a joy to be around. So if you're watching, Lori, I know you're not home right now. But <laughs> anyway, shout out to you, Lori, and thank you for sharing your 555 with us. So you can come up with whatever activities are good for you, and then that takes 15 minutes, right? So that's very powerful, but something that you know that you can do every single day. And it can you know, vary on the length, but um, anyway, that's the answer to you, Elise. The routine doesn't have to be exactly the same every day, but consistency is king. All right. So the next question I have comes from Sherry, which is a different Sherry. And she asked, what if I can't meditate in the morning because my brain will not turn off? Okay, this is another great question. And first I have to say, meditation is not a prerequisite to a morning routine. It's just something that I like to do and I know a lot of people enjoy and it helps them to um, just decompress before the day starts. And to, for me, what I love about meditation is it helps to train my mind I've got all these thoughts swimming around of all my to-dos that I have to do throughout the day, but it's able to focus me on one thing. So uh, lately I've been doing where I listen to a song on iTunes and it's uh, a meditation. It's called Eternal Ohm. So you can look this up or you can download my handout. I have a link for you, but it's Eternal Ohm. And this is so perfect because it's just the uh, Eternal Ohm for an hour. I don't do it for an hour. I do it for 15 or 10, 5, 10, 15 minutes, depending. But I just focus on the ohm, and that is it. And if you just focus on one thing, you could focus on your breathing, you could focus on a mantra, something like that. But that way, every time that a thought floats by and you catch yourself thinking about the thought, you just bring your focus right back to the mantra or the ohm or the whatever it is that you're focusing on. And the thing that's magical about this is that it really does start to train your brain to be able to focus throughout the day. Because how many times are you at work or doing something where you're trying to focus and people are interrupting you? And then it takes you a minute to get back to that thought where you were before you were interrupted. And this is a really great way to get you focused and get you trained to be able to get right back into it so you can be distracted and then just bring your focus right back. And it's also a good way to not be distracted because you're able to just stay focused. And then at some point it really does just calm your nervous system and you'll find that you'll be able to get into it easier and easier every time. And at some point I will be doing a meditation challenge. So I will go much deeper into that. There's so many little nuggets that I'd love to give to you about meditation, but um, for now, I would say it's not a necessity. And so Sherry, if you are finding that you cannot quiet your brain enough to just settle into a meditation in the morning, I would say maybe, number one, you might be trying too hard <laughs> because really it's not about perfection. I've never gotten to a point where um, for you know an hour at a time I have no thoughts. And I don't think that's even possible unless maybe you're a monk and you've been working on this for your whole lifetime. Uh, but I have had moments of that feeling where I don't have any thoughts happening in my mind. And so we're not reaching for complete stillness in our mind, although that would be wonderful, but it's just really an opportunity to practice that. Just like you would practice yoga, you practice meditation. It is a practice. And so you could try that. Another thing is maybe it's not the right time for you. Maybe nighttime would be better or afternoon. 
You could use one of those apps, uh, a meditation app like Calm or Headspace, and you could go out to your car on a lunch break or something, and you could put your earbuds in, and you could just be guided by that meditation, which would be really helpful because then you're not thinking so much and you're letting them do the work for you, so all you have to do is focus on their words. So hopefully that helps, Sherry. So you can just, you know, experiment with this and see what works for you. All right. Next question comes from Teresa. So Teresa says, what if my kids are awake and I can't get quiet time in the morning? Yeah, this happens to a lot of people I know. Uh, it seems like a lot of my mom friends kind of laugh at me when I say I have a morning routine. And I, I, I have a hard time um, understanding what it would be like because I'm not a mother, but I try my best to understand. And what I would say to you, if your kids are awake and you're having a hard time finding the quiet time to really settle in, you could do a couple of things. You could get up even earlier, or I would say, why not include them? Why not include them? And instead of doing, you could do a meditation with them. In fact, one of our ladies, Noelle, just did one of these with her son the other day, meditated with her son. How cool is that? Okay, so you could do that, and that would be training them to be able to um, incorporate this meditation and morning routine into their life. So you could in include them there. You could also include them in a dance party. What about starting your day off like that? You know, turning up the music and getting with your kids and dancing in the morning. I mean, they'd probably think mom went a little crazy, but I'm sure they would not be complaining. Uh, and that would definitely get everybody in a good mood and something to look forward to every single day, right? So you could also do creative stuff in the morning. So, you know, I know a lot of times people wait till the weekends or the weeknights to do any creativity, but what if people are up a little bit early and you could color or draw in the morning with some music on or a podcast that's uplifting or something? Just some ideas. And if you guys have any more ideas, those of you with kids, I would love to hear, and I'm sure Teresa would love to hear too, to help her with her mornings because I know it can be challenging you mamas, I don't know how you do it, and I know this is way after Mother's Day, but happy late Mother's Day because you guys really, really are amazing, and I am in awe of you, so keep it up. <laughs> All right, another question comes from Beth. So Beth asked me, if I only have 15 minutes for a morning routine, what would you suggest I do spend, to spend my time in the morning? And this kind of goes back to the other question that Elise asked. Um, but basically you can go ahead and find the things that are most impactful for you. Hey, Noelle, I see that you're joining us. Welcome. Do you have a morning routine, Noelle? If you do, I want you to type in a little comment. Hopefully I'll be able to see it. Um, because we're talking about morning routines today. And we talked about this a little bit last week, but today I'm answering your questions about morning routines and how to craft a really powerful one. Because it really is the thing that sets the tone for the rest of our day. So I'm really trying to empower everybody to craft one. And if you haven't done that before, you can go to my website, sherrystarwellness.com, and you can download all of the freebies that I have for you. It's the process that takes you through simple process to create your morning routine with lots of ideas and links and handouts. And even today, I have a playlist for you guys that I um, gave you a link to for my Spotify playlist to get your groove going. It's called Manifest Your Mojo. So hopefully you can um, click on that. Anyway, okay, so if you only have 15 minutes in the morning, you are really tight on time, you know, that's still enough time to do something really powerful. You could do the 555 that I talked about earlier. If you missed this, this is five minutes of, of three different activities. So you can do whatever activities you like, but that way you're getting 15 minutes of something really powerful, whether it's five minutes of meditation, five minutes of journaling, five minutes of strengthening or... Um, or jumping jacks, or jumping on your trampoline, or cartwheels, or whatever you want to do, or dancing, something that's going to be sure to get your mood elevated, and that's going to get you in a focused state. That's the goal here. Um, but I would suggest that you, pr you choose the things that are the most impactful to you. You know the things that make you feel really good. Maybe there's a certain podcast that you like to listen to, Maybe there's a certain audiobook that you listen to that every time you're listening to this person and their wisdom, you just get tapped in to that person that you know you are and that kind of feeling that you want to experience throughout the day. That's what I'm talking about. So find those things and you can get lots of ideas from the handouts that I have for you. Okay, so the last question I have 
is from Erica. And Erica asks, what inspirational books would you recommend? Okay, so the reason why I think she's asking this, she's in the group and she was wondering, um, because I mentioned this last week, that part of my morning routine is reading inspirational books. And I love to do this because um, these books that I have are kind of like daily books that every day has a different message. And I like to just ponder what I'm reading. And oftentimes it seems like the, the passage that I'm reading for the day ends up kind of correlating to the other passage and then I start to make meaning out of it. Now, it's kind of just a nice way to focus throughout the day on whatever it is that you're reading. So the books that I read in the morning, one of them is called The Book of Awakening. Oh, this is backwards. <laughs> okay, this is The Book of Awakening. And you guys are going to be able to see this on the handout too. I have links to everything. This one is Meditations from the Mat, and I really love this. If you're into yoga, this is such a beautiful journey every single day to get you deeper into being present and mindful, and it's really awesome. Another one is this one. It's Yoga 365. This was a gift as well. Oh, actually, a lot of these were gifts, uh, but this is a daily book that every single day of the year you have a new message, something to ponder. And apply to your life. And then this one I love, which is Reflections in the Light. This is Shakti Gawain. And now the, the cover looks different on the current one, but there is a link in my handouts. But this one is really awesome too. It's another one daily. Um, and then Daily Joy. If you're into National Geographic and you really love pictures, um, there are beautiful, beautiful pictures in here. Little frog. Um, daily Joy. That's a great one too. And then of course, it could not be complete without my favorite book of 2016, Big Magic. This is Elizabeth Gilbert. She was the author of Eat, Play, Love, Eat Pray, Love. And I love this book. It's creative, creative Living Through Fear. And I often read this, or I also have her on audiobook. She's magnificent in this book. Ways to really embrace the fear, have a dialogue with fear. It just gets me in that space of feeling unstoppable. So I really, really love this book. And of course, you know, reading a, a book like this in the morning is not really possible, but once you listen to it, you can just flip to a certain page here and there and get your inspiration. And then earlier I read to you from the Motivation Manifesto. This is from Brendan Burchard, and he is really great. If you're looking for a quick injection of motivation, he's your guy. And I don't really read this one from cover to cover. It is broken up into sections, but I just like to kind of flip through and see where it lands and then get my wisdom that way. And then the last things that I do uh, when it comes to reading, to answer your question, Erica, also, is these crazy sexy love notes from Chris Carr. It's a, it's a card deck, and I love these. And the reason why I love this is because I just feel like intuitively I can um, get maybe some wisdom that I'm needing for the day. So for instance, this one says, breathe deeply, it's backwards on your screen. But the cool thing about this one was yesterday I pulled this card and I kind of dismissed it a little bit like, oh, that's pretty generic, I, yes, I need to breathe. <laughs> but then today I pulled it again after shuffling, closing my eyes, I got it again. So when something like that happens to me, I think, okay, I need to pay attention to this. So I've been focusing on my breathing today. So I actually did, right after I got this, I did some breathing exercises. So that's the way that these card decks can really help. If you're into that kind of thing, you know, I don't want to get too woo-woo on you guys, but I really do think that it's powerful. Okay, and Chris Cart does a great job with the um, illustrations and everything. And then if you want to take it another step further when it comes to card decks, okay, don't freak out those of you who've never heard of these things, but this is the Goddess Guidance Oracle card deck. And I really love this. Some of you have this. I know um, I've seen your pictures and stuff. But So you pick your card for the day, or you could pick three cards, or however many you want. And the cool thing about this deck, and I have links for you guys, the cool thing about this deck is that it has a little book that can help you understand the meaning behind the message. And that way you can apply it to your life. So I use all kinds of resources like this. You can check out whatever I've listed for you, and then I would love for you to post something that maybe you love. What inspires you in the morning? What gets you going? For me, it's definitely music as well. So I hope that you download my playlist so that you can listen in and get an idea of what it is that I'm listening to when I'm jumping on my trampoline in the morning or when I'm cooking. 
And remember you guys, a lot of this stuff you can do while you're doing something else. So especially the audio stuff, you can be listening to uplifting music or audiobooks or podcasts while you're showering or while you're making breakfast or while you're exercising or taking a walk in the morning. So a morning routine doesn't have to necessarily take time out of your day. You can just add it in. And I think that's probably one of the most important pieces to remember. This is your routine. Make it something that you enjoy and something that you know that you could do every day because that way you're going to feel the positive impacts. So hopefully you guys are going to sign up for the group challenge if you haven't already. Come over to our private group and request to be in the group. This is Sherry Star Wellness Warriors. Uh, this is such a wonderful place for everybody to come and share and we do monthly challenges like this morning routine challenge and um, I would love to hear your feedback on things that you would like me to talk about um, during our Wellness Wednesdays or things that you would love to do on a five-day challenge. And so just go out to my website, get that stuff, and you guys have a wonderful day. Please let me know how it's going on the challenge and have a morning routine that lights you up and keep it going at least for five days so you can see how it benefits you. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.